Good morning, everyone. Uh, I wanted to kind of go over something with you today, and that's like why you should be replacing your head bolts in your RB26 with new bolts. Well, first off, there's uh, what we call bolt stretch. And I've, please forgive me, I kind of drew all these charts of some information I wanted to go over with you. Uh, first off, these bolts should be a one-time use only. And the reason why I'm going over this is because I watched a video on YouTube the other day. And a dude was saying, take accountability for every single one of these. Like he was going to reuse them. Now I understand, you know, not leaving them in the engine. But you're going to know if you left it in the engine. First off, it's a big bolt. But, <clears throat> do not reassemble a motor using the stock ones that you've already used. It's okay if you replace them with the... Uh, new ones but do not reuse them and we're going to talk about that first off the main thing is bolt stretch now these bolts all stretch at a certain point they have what's called a tensile strength and yield points and hardness and softness levels okay <clears throat> so tensile strength is obviously measured force over time. Now, there are several methods they use. One is they take the metal and they see how much force is required to break it. Now, they can just keep bending it over. Now, the softness of the metal will allow it to just keep going or if it's super hard, well, it'll, it'll snap easier. And this is just a made up scale, so uh, it is not correct for this bolt. But, <clears throat> How they make it harder or softer is through a process called tempering. Now, when they temper it by heating it up super orange uh, from the heat and then uh, throwing it in cold water or water to rapidly cool the metal, it crystallizes the veins of the steel. And when it crystallizes, it, it makes it really hard, which is great. Uh, but it's easier to break. So the further you go up the scale of hardness, the easier it is to break. The uh, softer the metal, uh, for instance, the more it bends. Now, <clears throat> uh, back in the old days, how they put like bridges and stuff together was through rivets. Well, the engineers didn't like that because they couldn't measure, you know, how... Uh, how tight or anything that those rivets were and that's the reason why uh, everyone uses screw based uh, bolts and everything now is because we can actually measure how much force we put on this bolt now um, another thing I want to talk about is why you should be getting these but <clears throat> the factory uh, bolt length of the stock connecting rods uh, can withstand about 200,000 pounds of pressure uh, before it yields and starts to stretch or elongate or uh, where it wants to just give. Now, 200,000 pounds is uh, fairly easy to reach uh, when you're starting to push closer to 500 horsepower on these RB26s and you are when you're torquing it down, you're already going up to almost its yield point. And one of the crazy things is uh, how you know that you're bringing the bolt to yield is by actually torquing it to 85 to 90 degrees per the manual, which says so right there. Angle wrench. 85 to 90 degrees. Uh, or you can bring it up to 108 foot-pounds plus or minus 5. But when you're doing this, you're actually using a angle gauge. And after you torque it to 80 foot-pounds on your second go-around, you are then going to lock this gauge down to where when you tighten it, you are going to literally swing this gauge over to 90 degrees. Now... I did the head bolts one time on a Volvo five cylinder and we had to take them like 120 degrees. And when we were doing this, uh, 
after we tor torqued it down to like 80 foot pounds of torque or something, it was like, uh, you could hear the metal tinging, like ding, 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 uh, as we were going around and it literally scared me because I was like, oh God, we are going to snap these bolts off in the cylinder head. But <clears throat> don't do that. Uh, since this is a problem with the factory RB26, I mean, if you're going to stay below 500 horsepower, by all means, get the factory bolts. If you're replacing a head gasket or anything, you will be fine for under 500 horsepower. Uh, Andrew Hawkins talks all about it on how, you know, how much horsepower it took before he started stretching the head bolts and lifting the cylinder head off of his motor. Now the ARP 2000s, they are obviously better. They have a higher uh, torque to yield point or uh, tensile strength, which can take up to 220,000 pounds. Now some of you guys are saying that's not a lot, but 20,000 pounds is actually a good little bit. They're, it's actually a really good upgrade. These are actually, I, I looked up the price today on ARP. Uh, they're selling for about 350 bucks uh, for the whole kit. But anyways, you can also see that they also torque down uh, three equal steps up to 100 foot pound, 105 foot pounds. And that'll help hold that head down uh, with a higher yield and you won't lift the head as easily. Now, the next step up it is the custom age 625 stuff. Now how they get this is through a secret process that ARP doesn't like to give out to anyone, but they actually heat it up to heat the metal up like we talked about earlier, and then allowed it to cool down uh, by tempering it a specific way. And it allows the bolts to now have up to a 280,000 pounds. Now, will you ever reach this? No, like uh, you might actually get the you know tensile strength up here but uh, uh, everyone <clears throat> with big horsepower rbs is going to this custom h 625 stuff obviously the price reflects that uh 350 versus 700 these are great if you're just wanting to make a five six hundred horsepower build they will hold it if you want to make thousand horsepower and up you're going to need the custom h 625 stuff the only problem is these bolts are so strong that when you torque them to 140 foot pounds, you're reaching the, the limits of the threads in the block. And this bolt will rip the threads out of the block if you try to torque it down any higher than that. And that's the reason why they say you need the torque plate for boring and everything because you'll actually lift up the deck of... Uh, the RB26 block and make the bores out of round because you're you're talking about metal stretchness again, stretching metal. Uh, cast iron also stretches, and you know has its limitations. But the torque spec to these is 140 foot pounds. Now, uh, one of the really cool features about the Custom H625 stuff is since you are not bringing the bolt to its yield that you're constantly torquing it to like here, right around in this area probably. Uh, these bolts can constantly be reused. You can tear the motor down, put it back together, tear it down, put it back together, tear it down, put it back together, tear it down, put it back together. Uh, because you are not stretching those bolts. Now there's actually uh, specifications on all bolts and you can actually get a stretch gauge and hook it up to this and measure how much it is stretched and see if this bolt is actually good or bad. But normally the factory stuff is one time use only. <clears throat> now not every bolt in your engine is one time use only, but the ones that are under severe stress, like uh, your head bolts, your main girdle crank bolts, I mean, come on guys, we're making like a thousand horsepower out of some of these engines and you don't want these bolts to stretch because when they stretch they allow the head to walk and 
uh, wear out the head gaskets, blow the head gaskets, as well as the crank girdle can start walking in it and allowing the crank to flex around inside the block and it, it starts messing a lot of things up when the geometry starts getting played with. So go ahead and do yourself a favor. Get you some nice head bolts, preferably the custom age stuff. It's part number if you want to order it. But yeah, I wanted to get that off my head and hopefully someone can use this information whenever they go to do any type of service to their RB26. Uh, maybe you got to replace the head gasket or you want to increase boost while you're at it. Ditch these, throw them in the trash, never reuse them. This is just a paperweight. That's all it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments.